Well, I think it's been quite, quite the journey, actually. Um, when you think about the early days, the technology that helped drive that and all the people that we touch and the customers, that's a million plus transactions and all the systems and the integrations to basically make that happen and to be able to grow. It's one of the most, you know, challenging, but most rewarding things. And I'm really proud to、uh, be able to hit this milestone. A particular example of that for me is an article that was published in Breast Cancer Research that、um, covered the impact that Angelina Jolie had on breast cancer screening and mastectomy referral rates.、Um, and, you know, yes, there's the excitement of seeing that article within. Uh, the press, but the open access element and the fact that friends, family, and the wider community can also read the underlying article. On Nature Communications, I was lucky enough to work with the authors of a paper that was looking at、um, creating embryos of the functionally extinct northern white rhinoceros species. And the authors had been able to produce embryos which might potentially. Be able to sustain the species. So it was a really interesting and really fun piece of content to work on. Students nowadays, they're more lucky than me in my PhD course because at that time it is very difficult to read an article if I didn't have the link to the institute. And now they can even read articles on their mobile. So I've been working on、um, nature open access for, I think, coming on. Around 10 years. You know, myself and so many colleagues were committed to be able to find a way of doing this.、Um, nature and, and the nature journals have been kind of at the forefront of, of open science for many years. To be able to do that was, was, was a huge, huge achievement for, for many, many people,、um, and, and it was huge for me. In my opinion, open access concept came to China a little bit later than in Europe and in USA. When I get invited to speak at conferences after my talk, One student came to me from the audience and told me that my talk has changed her view about open access. That moment,、uh, I feel really proud. We launched Scientific Reports only 10 years ago,、um, but we've published around 15% of all Spring and Nature open access articles. So I think we've shown that an open access journal with an editorial ethos built on inclusivity and rigor can improve the dissemination、uh, of science. And I'm humbled that so many researchers have seen the value in our approach and have chosen to publish with us. I think for me, one of the key things is just evidence.、Uh, I think to prove to people the benefits of publishing open access. I mean, researchers have a lot on their plates, institutions and funders too. And if you want people to come along with us on this journey, I think we've really had to conduct pieces of research analysis that. In a systematic way, show you know, this is what you get if you invest in publishing open access. There are these really tangible benefits in terms of the reach and the impact that that, that research can have.